Oh, shit. It's your boy, Mr. Out Today. I'm touching down from that two, one, four, and I'm on that bullshit again. I'm on that bullshit today, right? Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I was scrolling up my articles. And what do I see? I say, let's talk about Earl Spence and the horrific accident he had while he was driving under the influence. So y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I must address the bullshit. First off, shout out to everybody on here from that 214 to across the pond, you understand me? Now hold up. If y'all rhyme with Mr. Al TBA, yeah. Mr. 214, yeah. Mr. Undeniable, yeah. Mr. D Boys can't fuck with me, ooh, on my worst day. I need everybody to share this video and like this bitch immediately, you understand me? Now y'all hold up real quick. Cause I, I, I wanna make sure I, I say this shit right. Oh, hold up. I, I, I want to make sure I say this shit right, but shout out to everybody on here from that 214. If y'all rock with Mr. ILTBA, you understand me? I want y'all to share this for me, please, immediately. Share this for me, please, immediately, because y'all know how I'm coming from that 214 to across the pond. Yeah! That way. Now, hold up, hold up. Shout out to everybody who fuck with me though. And if y'all don't know, I represent that UGC. Do you hear me? That underground community. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go on YouTube and subscribe to that UGC boxing channel. Yeah, that's how I'm coming. That's how I'm coming. Now hold up. I need everybody to share this for me, goddammit. You feel me? Share this shit. Cause I need to. Let everybody know how I'm coming. Right? Huh? Yeah. So this, this is what I said earlier on this post, right? I said Earl Spence Jr. needs to change a lot of things around him. Getting in that horrific accident should wake him all the way up. Right? I said it was very irresponsible for him to be driving under the influence and he should be held accountable for that period it could have been innocent people hurt because of his actions there is no understanding in this situation right no understanding in this situation I'm just glad that he's okay and nobody else was hurt so I hope it hasn't got to the point where people around him are scared to tell him the truth because it doesn't matter how much money he got he still needs the truth all facts. I say it's very upsetting when someone has everything in front of them and they don't get it. I hope that's not the case with Spence. It's easy to say someone else should have uh, did something to prevent this, but I don't blame nobody but Spence for these actions. So stop blaming the people around him. It was absolutely his fault, 100%. See, the thing is, Mr. ITBA, Mr. 214, Mr. Undeniable, Mr. D Boys can't fuck with me on my worst day. This happened over two weeks ago, right? So, my main concern, being from Dallas, Texas, my main concern was to make sure I'm hearing everything is okay with Earl Spence. I wiped out the fact, all the other stuff that led up to it. It wasn't about that to me yet. It was about. Making sure that Earl Spence was okay. And when they came out with the story, they say no broken bones. He just lost a couple of teeth. You know, he'd been released from the hospital. I was like, thank God that he okay. That's how I was coming. It didn't matter. Nothing, nothing else mattered. I didn't give a 
damn about if he had drove uh, under the influence of nothing. That didn't matter to me at the, at the moment. The only thing that mattered to me was to make sure that Earl the Truth Smith Jr. was okay. That was my main thing. So let's get into it, right? I want y'all to understand this. I want y'all to really understand this. You got a lot of people from Dallas, Texas, in my city where I'm from. They got a problem with me um, speaking up about this. Well, let me tell you, you people around the world something real cool. I cover boxing, right? Um, hold up real quick. I cover boxing on a on a on a worldwide level. I cover boxing on a worldwide level. I get on every fighter around the world who be on that bullshit or who done done some bullshit. I do that consistently. Matters of how much of a fan I am of Earl the Truth Spence Jr. It's my due diligence in the sport of boxing to keep that same energy. To keep that same energy. People don't like the fact, they'll be like, oh, Corey, what do you know? What you mean what I'm doing? Because at the end of the day, we need to let the truth come to the power and the power come to the truth. That was irresponsible of Earl the Truth Smith Jr. to be drinking and driving. Look at the end result. The car flipped over a lot of times. Luckily, he didn't get hurt or have no broken bones. But we're not looking at the fact of keeping it 100 and keeping it above. It could have been people out there on that road. It could have been innocent bystanders. And because of Earl's irresponsible to not understand that he shouldn't have got in that vehicle, it could have been innocent people hurt. Thank God that it wasn't innocent people hurt. But it could have been innocent people hurt. And that's what y'all don't want me to talk about. Y'all don't want me to talk about how this guy in Earl Smith Jr. could have messed up the rest of his career. If it was innocent bystanders out there, y'all don't want me to talk about that? Y'all don't want me to talk about how this dude could have messed up his promising, promising career because he wanted to get behind the wheel under the influence. I'm not supposed to speak on that? This is my thing right here. Earl Smith Jr. should understand that he is absolutely held 100% accountable for this. And, and we must address it. He needs to know this. You know, we want the best for all these fighters. And this is where this, is where this get caught up and confused. This is why I get confused at with a lot of people. Because when Adrian Problem Broner out here doing all this bullshit, when Tank Davis out here doing all this bullshit, or other fighters around the world out here doing all this bullshit, Mr. IOTBA is consistent with the same thing. We must address it. So what makes Earl Spence so different? Why? Because I'm from Dallas, and he's a hometown, and he's, he's from my same city? No, that means nothing. Because he needs to hurt this. You know, because we can sit and blame everybody else. People try to put the blame on everybody around him. No, you don't blame them. You know, uh, let's say the thing. Um, how Earl got to the point to where um, them guys can't tell him anything. We need to know this. Because at the end of the day, Earl need people around him. That's going to be able to tell him yes. And that's going to be able to tell him no. Period. Earl needs to understand the magnitude, which I think he do. But it's our due diligence to put this out there because y'all need to understand this statistic. 2017. 40,000. 
thousand people were killed by drunk drivers. 2017. Twenty seventeen. So this is the thing right here. That's why this is serious as it is. That's why he needs to know this. That's why people say, "Oh, Kareem, people, oh, people, all in Dallas, Texas, say, oh, you're a snake in the grass, Kareem. How? You think I give a damn if you people call me a snake because I tell the truth? Shout out to my dog, the Black Horseman. Where truth is the new hate. You understand me?" I'm not going to be like none of you other guys around here. Pat him on the shoulder and say it's okay. No. Because it's not okay. No, it's not okay. You hear stories. You don't know how true these stories is. But as Earl Smith steady got high on his ladder, you steady heard these different stories about him and they're saying he was doing a lot of drinking. Then this situation. Come on, man. Earl needs to take the proper protocol. Earl Spence, you need to take the proper protocol. Like, because at the end of the day, thank God that you didn't get hurt. But we must hold him accountable for his actions. People want me to be quiet about this. Like, oh, you're a snake. Oh, you're this. And how the fuck am I a snake? What, for addressing the bullshit? I've been addressing the bullshit since I started. Oh, but when it's about people's favorite fighter where they have biases into it, which I had biases into things for a long time. But if I want to make myself a uh, world renowned and keep coming my life, I can't be biased for my home city. I can't talk about everybody else and the bullshit they do. I was speaking on Andy Ruiz. How Andy Ruiz was at her party. So what am I supposed to do? Just give Andy Ruiz that energy and don't give Earl Spence that energy? But people won't say what I did do. I was concerned for the first two weeks until a lot more details got out, right? I was concerned, right? Because I was concerned. People want to say, oh, correct. You mad because Derrick James won't let you in the train. I could give a shit about coming in the train. I done been in four of Earl training camps. If I don't never go to another training camp, I don't care. Because it's not about that because Earl Spence is not the only fighter in the world. It's other champions around the world who I speak with on the daily, who I can go to their training camps. Just because one door won't let you in, there's other ones that will. So cut the bullshit talking about, because he won't let you in training camp. That was two training camps ago. We all just emotion. We done interviewed undisputed champions, Hall of Famers, and so on and so on. Check my resume. So stop playing with me. It's crazy. So stop saying Correa is salty. No, Earl Spence Jr. is my favorite fighter, period. It's no fighter at 147 who I think can beat him. Do you feel me? I ride for Earl the True Spence Jr. But just because I ride for him don't mean I would, won't tell him he was absolutely 100% wrong. Earl Spence fight turns Crawford. Who the fuck do y'all think I'm going for? I ain't going for no damn Terrence Crawford. I'm going for Earl Spence. If he fight anybody, that's who I'm going for. That's how I'm coming. Yo, that way, the fuck? Stop playing with me. But what we gonna continue to do is continue to address all the bullshit, whether it's Earl Spence or any other fighter around this world. I don't care about people getting in their feelings because at the end of the day, I cover boxing. The name of my show is called IOTBA. I'm on that bullshit again. Do you hear me? You know, I was scrolling up my article. Yeah, that's me. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Whether people appreciate it or not, you don't have to appreciate nothing I'm doing. I don't care. Even if you don't respect nothing I'm doing, you don't have to. That's your personal feelings and choice. But one thing I won't do is worry about, oh, Kare, you're from this city. You're from this city of Dallas, Texas, Corey. How could you say anything about any fighter who was doing anything in the city? Well, guess what? Just like I did. 
just like I give that same energy to every other fighter around the world. Oh, when it comes to Dallas fighters, I'm not supposed to give that energy, huh? I'm just supposed to sit back and just be quiet and let everybody around the world look at me like Kareem. Damn, bro, you done interview Canelo and everybody, everybody, and everybody around the world, and then you gonna let yourself look like that? How you address the bullshit on Canelo and everybody, but then when it comes to Earl, you not gonna address it? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. And people, look, Earl the Truth Smith Jr. is a boxer. He is a public figure, like any other top champion in the world. The public figures. When something happens to them, it goes right with the boxing world. In the boxing world, we're going to speak on it. Period. But like I said, don't get this caught up and confused. I ain't going to keep saying it. Matter of fact, I ain't going to say it no more. Everybody know where I'm from. I'm from that 214. That dos uno cuarto. That dos catorce. So everybody know how I'm coming. But at the end of the day, we must let the truth come to the power and the power come to the truth. Period. And let the, oh, now, since I said Earl the Truth Smith Jr. <laughs> and Terrence Crawford are a 50-50 fight. Now, they said, oh, Corey, how can you say that? Oh, now I, because I say, I think Bomack is a better trainer than Derrick James. Oh, Corey, you're hating. You're just a snake in the ground. You're just mad because it has nothing to do with that. In 2017, Derrick James was the best trainer on the planet. Best trainer. It was clear cut, no debate. One thing I won't take away is when I felt like somebody, he was the best. In 2017, he was the best on the planet. In my opinion, I spoke that loud. I spoke that even years before that. He was the best on the planet. Right? I did that, right? But now since people, do you, you think a, a person can stay number one forever? You can't. There's no way in hell you can stay number one forever. And especially if you lost a couple of fights, which he did. Come on, man, stop it. Then because I say Bowmaker is a better trainer than Derrick James, now I'm Team Crawford? Man, God, stop. I just give respect what respect is due. And Bowmack, in my opinion, because it's just one. Why are y'all all so salty? And then y'all feelings for one opinion. I'm talking about it's just one. It ain't like it's a million motherfuckers with me. It's just one opinion. So stop that. I'm not salty at all. I speak to other people. I go other places. I got stuff a lot. There's nothing about that. Stop it. Shout out to everybody who fuck with me though. Because if y'all don't know, I'm Mr. I'm on that bullshit again. Mr. Undeniable. And Mr. These boys can't fuck with me on my worst day. That's how we come in. You know what I'm saying? I build my shit from the ground up. The fuck? Nigga, I'm in household from the 2142 across the pond. What the fuck? And people talking about, I'm mad? How the fuck am I going to be mad? Well, because I can't come to a fucking training camp? Okay, I ain't mad at that no more. That's over and done with. I talk to fucking undisputed champions. Talk to fucking WBC champions. Interview all type of fucking champions, bro. Stop playing with me, man. The fuck? Y'all act like, oh, courageous. Don't do not interview these people. Talk to these people. People in all day long. So don't come to me with that bullshit just because I don't go to that training camp. It's fine. Because there's plenty of other training camps. I don't have to be in a training camp to root for someone. Nigga, whether or not, nigga, I'm still riding for that 214. You understand me? That's how I'm coming. I don't give a damn what nobody thinking. We're going to keep that same energy towards everybody. Don't nobody pay me shit. Only my sponsors. You know, that, don't nobody pay me shit. Just my sponsors. I know I ain't, but you motherfuckers want me to just stay in Dallas, huh? 
You motherfuckers just want me to cover Dallas, huh? Correct, just cover Dallas. Be boss towards Dallas. Be the boss ever towards Dallas. Why? Because I'm the biggest ever media in boxing to come out of Dallas, Texas? Come on, stop playing with me. I, I work my way up for that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like we coming. I talked to uh, so it has nothing to do, because one fighter don't make or break me. I don't have to, it don't matter to me. That's what people need to understand. One fighter don't make or break our TBA, because our TBA go a long way with a lot of fighters around this world. TBA, keep your feelings in your You understand me? You know, that, that's how we coming, so stop it. Y'all get off of that, because at the end of the day, I still ride with her, the truth, Smith Jr. I still think he the most ferocious. The most tenacious. I don't think nobody can fuck with him walking or breathing at 147. I think he is the man. So cut y'all bullshit. You heard it out of our TBA mouth. Yeah, that way. That's how I'm coming. The fuck? Tired of fucking explaining myself to these motherfucking idiot ass folks out here. Nigga, I'm from Dallas, Texas. The fuck? Nigga, when everybody was talking that shit about Earl, who was the nigga standing in front? Nigga shooting the bullets and taking the bullets. Fuck are y'all talking about? It's playing with me. I got to justify myself to none of you motherfuckers on her. Nigga, if you don't believe me, who gives a fuck? I don't. Because I'm going to keep on grinding and doing me. Do you understand me? Stop playing with me. That why, man, stop playing sight, man. Stop playing, man. Niggas ain't like shit was just given to me. Like, oh, I'll TV. Nigga, I grind for every fucking thing I got. Why you think I'm contacted with all these goddamn champions around the world and just different fighters around the world and shit? Stop fucking playing with me. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. Like I said, I'm just one opinion. And like I said, I'm going to keep that same energy, whether it's Earl Spence or any other fighter around the world, whether it's my favorite fighter or not. Motherfuckers don't say shit to Stephen Smith. Is Stephen A. Smith fake? Skip Bayless fake? Max Kellerman? All the other guys, are they fake? Is Roy Jones fake? Is uh, Shannon Short fake? Is all the rest of the other guys fake for telling the absolute truth and not holding, uh, not holding everybody accountable for every fucking thing they do? Is them niggas fake too? Is them niggas fake too? Niggas, I heard talking about all this and that. You niggas eat shit and duck, but man. Man, you niggas eat shit. Stop playing with me. You niggas eat shit. You follow ass. There's a lot of follow ass niggas on here. You hear me? A lot of niggas, a lot of you niggas out here scared to say it how Mr. Isle TBA say it. You hear me? Scared to say it the way Isle TBA said. You got your. Face st stuck so far, ass got shit all over your face and shit. That's what's wrong with this world right now. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, can't tell another motherfucker the real deal. That's how I'm coming. And that's how I'm going to keep coming. He was very irresponsible. And I'm talking about Earl the True Spence Jr. There's no way he should have been riding that vehicle. Now, are you people out here mad because Channel 8 talked about it? Channel 8 talked about it. Channel 11 talked about it. Channel 4 talked about it. All the major news networks talked about it, and it made national fucking news. Was y'all commenting on they shit, telling them how they was fake when they was giving they motherfucking opinion on it? Did y'all do that? Did y'all do that when they say, oh, Earl was charged with a DWI on a fucking news broadcast? Did you motherfuckers call them and take them and tell them they was fakes and they was snakes because they was reporting this news? Stop playing with me. I don't answer the nail motherfucker around. You motherfuckers who cover shit, y'all can answer to all the people you want to. But the thing with our TVA, what people don't understand, I made myself a commodity. I don't need no motherfucking interviews with people or no fighters around the world to make or break our TBA. Our TBA made himself talking that shit. That's how I'm coming. Stop playing with me. Tell these motherfuckers talking all this and saying all that. Man, stop it. Sit y'all ass down somewhere. 
you know what I'm saying? Public figure. They think we ain't supposed to cover the news, but they not saying nothing to all the other major networks who are way bigger platform than our TVA. Oh, but then because our TVA in Dallas, I post a, nah, okay, Corey, you talk about Andy Ruiz, you talk about Anthony Joshua, you talk about Deontay Wilder, we just want to see you from Dallas. You can't talk about none of them Dallas fighters if they do any bullshit. Man, sit y'all ass down. Sit y'all ass down. I don't do that. Not doing it. Never going to do it. Take it how y'all want to take it. That's how I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, we ain't just no 214. That's what y'all want me to be, but sorry. Y'all want me to just stay. Oh, don't say nothing about nobody there. No, that's not the way it go. You know, because when I'm praising motherfuckers around her, you motherfuckers love it. But when I'm on motherfuckers' ass for that bullshit, oh, now I'm a fake, now I'm a snake, now I'm all of this, and now I'm all of that. Come on, man, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. What is y'all mad about me reporting? Come on, stop playing with me. Because y'all can stay Dallas or y'all can stay local. I ain't, I'm not doing that. I'm not putting myself in no box for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is accountable for their actions. This is, I'm on that bullshit again. And if I'm scrolling up my articles and I see some bullshit, I'm going to dress it. The fuck? Fuck wrong with these people, fam. Like a motherfucker made a break. Like, like a motherfucker made me. Nobody didn't fucking make me. Nigga, like I made myself. Nobody didn't fucking make me. I made myself. So that's just how I'm coming. Niggas don't do shit for me. I do shit for myself. I make shit happen myself. I don't be hoping and a wishing and a wishing and a hoping somebody else gonna make some pop. I get out there and make it happen myself. Ask about me from the two one four two across the pond. Ask about our TBA. Yo, the fuck? They trying to call me like, like I'm, I'm a look top. Like, like what? Like, really? Like I give a fuck about my say, man. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, 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 motherfuckers think I'm supposed to just. Come on, y'all don't. Y'all don't. Come on. I be thinking about the people who come. I be like, what are y'all doing? You know, y'all covering boxing? Or y'all just on here trying to. You know, come on. One thing about our TV, I'm not going to be a part of the problem. You know what I'm saying? If it's a problem, I'm going to address it, and I'm going to keep on addressing it. I'm not going to be a part of the problem, just let shit fly, fly over my... No, that's not how we coming. That's not how we coming, that's how we not never going to come. We're going to keep it coming with that real shit. You know what I'm saying? With this real shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers on here mad. What's they mad? I don't give a damn. Shit, I cover boxing. And everything that has to do with boxing, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers mad now because I'm addressing Earl Spence? Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Stop playing with me. But I want y'all to keep fucking with Mr. 214. Uh, Mr. D Boys can't fuck with me on my worst day. Uh. You know what I'm saying, Mr. I'ma let the truth come to the power and the power. Adios then, Bob. We ain't ask y'all to, if y'all gone, go. Adios. We ain't fucking ask you to come on here. The fuck? You think, come on, we supposed to, I, cause y'all come on here, we supposed to say, I come to clap my head. I come to stomp my feet. I come to shout for joy. I don't know what you come to do. Is that what we supposed to do? We supposed to get up like uh, we supposed to get up like uh, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz and kick our feet together and say there ain't no place like home because y'all grace y'all presence. I don't give a fuck if y'all want her or not. Go, Jesus. But shout out to everybody, man. Y'all know how I'm coming, Mister. <coughs> Yo, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm coming, man. Yeah, we gonna get into that, man. I just had to 
address this shit right here, what's going on, man. I want y'all to go to my group. Oh, yeah, they said, oh, correct. They putting up all these posts about Earl. And, like, one girl on here was talking. I didn't even say her name. On her talking. Like, you let them put all this stuff up in your group. Well, damn, when you tagged me that day and I seen it, then I take it down. You didn't mention that. You just want to say stuff go up in the group. But stuff go up in the group about all fighters. Ain't nobody safe. Now, if it's out of line, like that post that I was tagged in, I'll delete it. And that comes with any fighter. Stop playing with me. Come oh, on, Rocket, man. <laughs> I'm on that bullshit again, yo. All day, every day. Nigga, I wake up on that bullshit, nigga. I appreciate the Look. My thing is, motherfuckers just want you to stay local. They 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 want you to stay uh like this. Ain't no man, look, fam. Look, bro. Look. I come around my feet. Say, but shout out to everybody. Do you understand me? Because this all TV, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep talking to, to the champions we could talk to. We're going to keep going to the training camps we can go to. We're going to keep going to the fights we could go to. We're going to keep doing all that shit. Because I ain't stopping. Never. 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 The fuck? Hold on. Hello. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, we thumping over here, man. They like how we coming with that real shit. You know? They like, damn, I'll TV, eh? Say it ain't so. Yes, it is so. I'm addressing all bullshit from every fighter. The fuck? You motherfuckers ain't paying my bills? Yeah, you damn right, Aunt, you did. Y'all keep on fucking with me though, man. We gonna keep on turning up. Y'all got to keep on turning up with me. We got a lot of shit going. Man, my motherfucking kid folk, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be on that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? My kid folk, King King, you understand me? King King. Shout out to everybody who on King Watch Party, you understand me? Shout out to everybody who on my Watch Party, who on this live right here. Y'all just keep on fucking with me, man. Because look, I'm gonna keep the same shit coming. You hear me? Same shit. We're going to address all the bullshit. Ain't nobody safe. I don't care who you is. The person don't want to deal with me because I'm addressing them. Oh, well, that's just how life. Life, what they say, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Mark. Oh God in them, or Allah in them, or Yahshua in them, or whoever in them, y'all believe in. That's how we coming. Yo. I'm on that bullshit again. Yo. Yo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you fucking with this, I'm on that bullshit again, man. Hit that motherfucking like button, man. If you fucking with them on that bullshit again, man. Hit that like button, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. What the fuck that mean? I ain't loyal to the game. What that mean? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. You loyal to yourself. You damn right. Shit. The game ain't loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? People want you to. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. People, they said we're talking about this. Talk about all the other shit I did. God damn. If you're going to talk about one thing, I did talk about everything, right? Because shit. 
If you're gonna talk about one thing that you know that, that I did, talk about all the other shit I did too. Talk about all the other shit, Zoom! The fuck? Like a nigga wants to stand on that front line. Like any nigga could say anything. Man, I was going with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I was going at everybody. You know, it's like people was telling me I was making that mistake. Like, all right, man, you got you can't just be humble with your with your city, bro. You gotta let everybody know what's up, fam. You know, and that's the shit I was on. But people don't like when you're on that real shit where you're keeping that same energy on everybody. And that's just how I'm coming going forward, man. You know how I'm coming. Shout out to my boy, Mikey D. Boyo. Shout out to everybody who's fucking with me too, though, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Ice. Ice, ice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ice, ice. Yeah, we icing in a bitch, you hear me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spin there. Yeah. That's how we coming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like when I'm on that real shit. Well, I'm sorry. Anybody who don't like it, that's your personal opinion. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, drip, drip, man. She can me. Like, shout out to everybody who fuck with me, though, for real, though. I need y'all to keep fucking with me though, for real though. Cause we gonna keep that same shit coming. For everybody. Ain't nobody safe. I said that and I meant that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody safe. I ain't, look. Like I said, I ain't saying no more who I'm riding for, who I'm going for. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I'm not saying that no more. I'm addressing the bullshit on the bullshit. I'm going to give people all the, the bullshit that's going on all around the world. It's going to be a domino effect. If it happened here, you're going to get it. If it happened in Minnesota, they're going to get it. If it happened in California, they're going to get it. If it happened in fucking New York City, they're going to get it. But yeah, man, y'all keep on rocking with me, man. Mr. 214, uh, Sia Dos Uno Cuarto, uh, Sia Dos Catorce, um, Mr. Undeniable, yeah, uh, Mr. D Boys can't fuck with me on my worst day. You know what I'm talking about? I got drip for sale. I got drip for sale. For real. I got drip for sale. I got drip for sale. <laughs> yeah, man, shout out to everybody, though. You know, um, like I say, Earl Spitz, hope this don't happen no more. Hope this is a lesson learned, you know. Straight up. Hope everything get figured out of the people around you. Straight up. Because at the end of the day, it's about you. And when everything fade away, all the spotlight gone, we're going to see how many people going to be around you, bro. For real. So it's about you first. The fighter. Got to get it together.
Simple as that. Order in the motherfucking court. You hear me? For anybody. Ain't no fighter safe. No fighter in Dallas. No fighter in Omaha, California. No fighter around the world is safe. If you do some bullshit, I'm on it. That way. Hold up, nah. That way. No, 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 hold up. That way, the fuck? I got drip for sale. I got drip for sale, yeah. What's up, everybody? Y'all good? Y'all good today, man? Good, good motherfucking evening. You hear me? Good motherfucking evening. You hear me? I hope y'all day was wonderful. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody had an absolutely blessed day. I hope everything y'all planned out to do, y'all got it done. You hear me? First. I got drip for sale. Which I keep on rocking with you, man. Mr. 214. Uh, I'm on that bullshit again. Yo. All day, every day. We're going to keep it coming in this motherfucker. You know, anybody. You know, um, for real. Like I said, anybody who do any bullshit, they should be held accountable. And um, the bullshit that Earl did, he sh is getting held accountable. You know? Yeah, man, y'all keep on fucking with your boy, Mr. 214. Ooh. Ooh. Mr. Uh. Ooh. 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 Stop playing with me. Who fucking with me, man? You know what I'm saying? That's how we coming, man. Young, fresh to death, baby. Oh. Yo. Yo. That's how we coming, man. Yo. Shout out to my nigga Two Stiff Rich. <laughs> I got tired of giving a fuck what people around the city were saying. I got tired of that shit, bro. I got tired of that shit. I got tired of that shit. And we ain't with none of that shit no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know we got uh, Regis Pro Gray uh, versus Josh Taylor this weekend. You hear me? We can't wait for that. You hear me? That's a 50-50 fight, but I'm, I'm leaning towards Regis. That's an intriguing fight. You know, whoever come out there going to be unified champion, then they're going to be able to face Jose Ramirez. <laughs> that sound like I'm from Savannah and then, yeah. You understand me? I need to come up there with my boy Two Stiff Rich in Georgia, though. I can't wait to get up there, dog. You hear me? I know we're going to turn all the way up, you know, for real. I got drip for sale. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
That motherfucking uh, face off was a mug. Like Reed's is so cool, calm, and collective. You know, Josh Taylor, he was he 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 looked like he was turned up. So like, and then I seen a post from Reed's today. So he tired of looking at him, tired of hearing him talk. Like this is a real deal fight that's gonna be um, on the zone. I think, and I can't wait for that shit. I can't wait for that. Uh, Shout out to uh, Regis program, you heard me? I ride for that dude 100%. Shout out to New Orleans, Louisiana, you know? Shout out to Lafayette, Louisiana, who showed me a good time when I was down there. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the University of Lafayette and all the surrounding colleges who turned up with us that night after his victory. So, yeah, man, um, that's a good fight. Everybody needs to be locked in and be tuned in for that fight. Um, uh, you got Jamil Charlo versus Tony Harrison coming up. The biggest rematch since Sugar Shane Mosley and, and Vernon Forrest, in my opinion. That fight is so intriguing because it was a close fight. I had Tony Harrison winning that fight, but it was a close fight to where, you know, like, yeah, it was a close fight, but, I, you know, I can't wait for that rematch. We're going to see the type of adjustments both fighters make. You know, it's been building up and building up. You hear me? Like, y'all remember that last press conference was fire? Like, I'm looking forward to that fight. Like, to see who's going to come out the top dog out of that. Do you hear me? That's what we're looking forward to. We're also looking forward to Andy Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, that's the biggest fight of the year. You know, so we looking forward to that. Like, it's fights out here. You know, so, man. Y'all stay locked in, but be locked in this weekend for Regis Progray versus Josh Taylor though, on the zone. If y'all don't got the zone app, I strongly advise y'all to get it. The zone put on good apps. They have a lot of bunch of different stuff on there. And I can tell y'all that it is worth it. In my opinion, and I'll get it. But yeah, y'all keep on fucking with me, man. Y'all keep on rocking with me, man, from that 2 1 folks across the pond. We're gonna keep this shit thumping. I'm never stopping, never quitting. We're gonna keep on coming, talking to these champion Hall of Famers, and doing what we do. Y'all know how I do. I'm on that bullshit again. <laughs>